89.1 WBCX Gainesville. WBCX, the voice of Brunel University. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. And Jay Andrews. He's in concert in Nashville, Tennessee this weekend. And boy, if you've never seen him, it's a chunk of New Jersey rock and funk. Bruce Springsteen. Good morning. Jay Andrews, the morning. And every now and then, uh, we go to Studio B. There are three great studios here, plus the control studio of WBCX. 89.1 WBCX, alive here and everywhere. But we like to go to Studio B, where Clovis Moselle is standing by in case I need him. Wow, man. A lot of times, he'll be in there singing. Have we got it punched up? There's an aroma in this room. White bird with a golden tail on a winter day. Oh, man. And the pain. So wrong. And that white bird don't know its name. Okay. 891 WBCX. Jay Andrews in the morning. It's a beautiful day. It is Tuesday. 706 in the morning. Jay Andrews here, 89.1 WBCX. Every now and then, I like to take just a second on the show and thank some people. Um, Robbie Claudia McLeod put something on Facebook about how much they both liked WBCX's music. Thanks so much. And as I said last hour, tell all your friends about it. Being fortunate enough to have been in some of the greatest radio stations in the history of Atlanta and North Georgia. I love this music. Probably heard me play this one brand new. Bad Company, 891 WBCX. Wow. 710, 10 past 7 now. 891 WBCX. Jay Andrews, the morning Friday with a little Boston. Crack it up. In Arkansas, state employees can now earn days off by quitting smoking and eating a healthy diet. The other side of that is the people who are against getting the day off are saying, What good's a day off if you can't enjoy it? Let's celebrate. This day in history, February 20th, 1872, Silas Noble and James P. Cooley were awarded a patent for the toothpick. And I know what you're thinking. It took two guys to invent the toothpick? Well, now, aren't you something? Jay! The long-legged Mac Daddy Andrews! You know who? Yeah, 7.52, 8 minutes and 8 o'clock in BBC World News. Top of the hour. But right now, I like to take my time... And do it right. Little Crater, we've got it on a plaque here where the wall is peeling. The paint is. Atlanta's SOS band. Who dumped a whole truckload of fizzies into the swimming? Say Andrew. Who delivered the medical school cadavers to the alumni dinner? Say Andrew. Every Halloween, the trees are filled with underwear. Uh-huh. Every spring, the toilets explode. You're talking about Jay Andrews. Jay Andrews, the morning, and every now and then uh, we go to Studio B. There are three great studios here, plus the control studio of WBCX. 89.1 WBCX, alive here and everywhere. But we like to go to Studio B where Clovis Moselle is standing by in case I need him. Wow, man. A lot of times he'll be in there singing. Have we got it punched up? There's an aroma in this room. White bird with a golden tail on a winter day. Oh, man. And the pain. So wrong. And that white bird don't know its name. Okay. 891 WBCX. Jay Andrews in the morning. It's a beautiful day. It is Tuesday. In Arkansas, state employees can now earn days off by quitting smoking and eating a healthy diet. The other side of that is the people who are against getting the day off are saying, what good's a day off if you can't enjoy it? Let's celebrate! This day in history, February 20th, 1872, Silas Noble and James P. Cooley were awarded a patent for the toothpick. And I know what you're thinking. It took two guys to invent the toothpick? Well, now, aren't you something? Jay Andrews!